Hi, I'm Mike Monsoor. We're here in my studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And we're going to just take a very quick look at how I might use Meld in an Atmos mastering setup. We have a song here by a singer-songwriter named Garrett Mosier. I'm just going to be playing a little bit of that and looking at this cool new plugin. So with Meld, we have a big overview window of everything of all the processing. There's a, an EQ, a compressor, mix head is included. There's a loudness control and a limiter. And over here on the right-hand side, we can see metering for all the tracks. And we'll also be able to group all the tracks that we want to in uh, separate, really easy to use groups. I have my music bed here. And let's go ahead and group. the music bed tracks together. We're just going to throw those into group A. So now I'll be able to affect all of those channels simultaneously. I've been gone. Make Believe added a really cool feature here where you can enable a uh, shared sidechain, which I think I'm going to go ahead and try on these tracks here. Strong. I'll keep my head down and I'll think about you everywhere I go. We can grab the EQ right here in the main overview window. Or if you wanted a little more control, you can Click the EQ window and get a little more information here, a little more detail about each band. You can bypass them. Um, you can also double click. Just a little bit of mid-range build up here. This song is already really close. Uh, the mix engineer got the Atmos very, very close to the stereo already. So there isn't a whole lot I have to do, but I often use Meld to do some really nice broad strokes on everything. Uh, some final limiting, I get the level up a little bit because with Atmos, our output target is minus 18 LUFS, and we can't go above that. So it can be a challenge sometime. It's hard to get the same amount of energy at a lower peak level, an average level like that. Okay, so we can see that the vocals are on two separate channels. They're not part of the bed, they're objects. I'm gonna go ahead and group these two vocal tracks together here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this track and this track, we'll group those together. We'll make those uh, group B. So now you can see I'm affecting those two vocal tracks. One way to also use this is to make an aux track and make that your main meld track so you can just stay in that one, in that window, and jump around between groups, and you don't always have to change plugin instances. But I think what I'll do right now for this quick demonstration is just put all the rest of those tracks in the same group. <clears throat> if we want to, and put the rest of the vocal tracks in a vocal group. Might make things easier for us. I've been gone for much too long now. I miss you more than you could ever know. But I'll be strong. I'll keep okay, so right now I have three basic A, B, and C groups that I can jump between really quickly and meld. Uh, there's really detailed metering. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click this, and that'll group the side chains there for my A group. apply this DC filter on there. 
see what mixed head sounds like on here. I like that, it gives it a little extra warm something there. All right, now we have to think about loudness too. We're generally a little low right now, so we might need a little extra level. This is where melt can come in handy. And it's got two, we'll call them loudness controls. There's a loudness knob, which may have some relation to their other plugin called CG2. I'm not sure, but it seems like there might be some similarity. This is, I think, Metric Halo's peak limiter. I don't want to get too aggressive with it. We just want, to, want it knocking down a little bit. Okay, that also brought up the entire level of our bed. So I'm going to adjust and find out how much I need to turn this down. Because we're probably shooting over minus 18 right now. Just loop this little section here. In a six range. That's cool. We'll start there. It's nice. Uh, mix heads giving it a little bit of extra fullness. We're EQing just a touch. I don't think I need the compressor on this. I might EQ a little bit more later. Um, but just for a quick demonstration. Okay, now that we have some basic processing going on the bed track, let's look at these vocals real quick. If I put the fly tomorrow, would you open your door? I know you and when I'm You know, they might need a similar amount of dynamics processing. So in that case, it's really cool because they're all grouped. I can look at my settings for group A and just go ahead and match them. That's a quick and good way to start. I'll match that. Now, I miss you more than you could ever know. Let's go ahead and bring that output down 6 dB like we did with the other tracks. We'll do the same thing with group C real quick. And I think about you everywhere I go. I think about you everywhere I go. All right, so we have everything kind of in a similar spot right now. We're probably a little hot right now, so I'll probably bring things down a bit. I could do that in meld with the output fader. That's a really quick and easy way to throw a meld across an Atmos project and start affecting things. I'm liking it in this instance, having the same thing everywhere just makes a more congealed sound, I think, for this project. Cool, well, thanks for joining us for a quick, very quick overview of Meld. Uh, there's so many features. I could talk about this plugin all day long and barely cover all of the really cool things that it does. So check it out, uh, see what you think. I love it. It'll be on every project, every Atmos project I'm working on. And there's some cool ways you can use it in stereo too. So check it out.